Hey guys, welcome to Sam610. So this is video number two for today. So in case you guys are wondering why I'm wearing the same outfit that I wore in yesterday's video, that's because I'm going to film and edit two videos today. Because I'm so happy to be back guys, I just thought why not bang out two videos filming and editing all in one day. You gotta love YouTube guys and uh, if you want to grow on YouTube, you gotta keep chipping away and keep chipping away. It's the only way you're going to get ahead on YouTube, guys. <clears throat> Alright, so in this video, I wanted to talk about my progress on this channel and why I am switching from using TubeBuddy and I'm actually going to be going to vidIQ. I was paying about $9 a month on um, for TubeBuddy, but now when I make the switch, I'm going to be paying like an extra dollar more and I think I might be happy with the results with using vidIQ. I say that because I've been using TubeBuddy for the past couple of years now and I have, you know, quite a few views on a couple of my videos and what they suggested generated, you know, thousands and thousands upon thousands of views on certain videos on my channel. And of course, those videos are going to be the unboxings on my channel. The unboxings seem to be doing really well on my channel, guys. And I'm not saying that TubeBuddy is a bad system to use, a bad software to use, I should say, but I just want to try something different. It's just like when you get in the same old car, the same old truck, every single day, and you drive it and drive it, and you get used to it after a while, and you're like, why am I driving the same vehicle over and over again when I can try something new? And that's exactly how I feel with TubeBuddy at the moment. You know, not saying I hate it. You know, don't get this confused with me saying that I, I absolutely hate TubeBuddy because I don't. You know, like I said, they did a lot of great things for me, you know, for the service plan that I paid per month. But I see a lot of people switching to vidIQ, a lot of people using vidIQ, and they seem to be getting you know a lot more views a lot more subscribers by making this switch so I'm gonna try it you know I'm gonna try it with this video and see how it performs with using the recommendations of course um, some of the other features that TubeBuddy might have vidIQ might charge you know for the boost plan uh, for instance the um, SEO features and things of that nature TubeBuddy includes in their monthly payment plan where with vidIQ if you want to do a little bit more SEO and a little bit more optimizing you know to your videos to your channel um, as well as them helping you boost a lot of things that are in a lot of videos out there that you already have already had uploaded and with the boost plan they'll help you update that but that's like $49 a month and who wants to pay that you know when you're just a small fish in the pond like myself as a youtuber so I figure you know I'll give vidIQ a chance you know I'll try it you know at least for a couple of months and see how these videos start performing with using vidIQ they stand by their product you know as well as TubeBuddy stands by their product as well but vidIQ seems to really um, how should I even try and word that they really put it out there that they want influencers, whether you're big or small, especially some of the big influencers out there are using vidIQ and they're swearing by it. They, you know, they swear by it. They say it's great to use and it's helped boost their channel tremendously. So I figure why not an extra dollar a month? Let's see where that goes. You know, can't hurt to, um, to try that, right guys? Um, don't mind me, I'm just in a little bit of vlogging you know, walking around, changing the scenery. Sometimes it's just boring just to talk on, you know, just a camera all the time. I'm gonna switch to the light so it looks a little better for you guys. So that's what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm gonna switch from TubeBuddy to vidIQ. I had an affiliate program with vidIQ. I could have advertised it. The link's in my descriptions. I could have posted, you know, all over the place trying to make money at, you know, from affiliate marketing you know, with TubeBuddy, but I decided not to. I just, you know, don't feel that's gonna help me grow and I don't feel it's gonna help anybody else grow, to be honest with you. Again, I'm not, you know, not saying TubeBuddy is bad. I just, 
I don't know if I'd recommend it for somebody that's under 500 subscribers. So I'm just gonna give vidIQ a try and uh, see what happens, guys. You know, wish me the best of luck. And you know, too, buddy, if you're watching this, which you're probably not. Thank you for all that you have done. You know, don't count me out yet. I might be back. Who knows? I might not like vidIQ. It might be a total bust for me. But you don't know unless you try, right, guys? And I want to try something new. And that's one of the things I'm going to start with is changing what I use to optimize my videos, my keywords, my tags, you know, things of that nature. Um, maybe it'll give me a little bit a better push on my channel audit to keep up you know with my channel and you know keeping it up to par I wasn't doing that with TubeBuddy I was trying to use TubeBuddy and vidIQ side by side and whatever TubeBuddy wasn't finding I was using on vidIQ whatever vidIQ wasn't helping me out with I was using TubeBuddy for and guys it literally it's just it's too much to do I, I just can't go between two software so I figure if I'm going between the two and I know what one can already do I'm not, you know, I'm not sure about vidIQ. I only know what I could use with the free part of it. So I'm gonna, you know, subscribe to it and see what happens, guys. Well, that's all I have for you guys in today's video. You know, I'll let you guys know if you want an update on um, how everything's going with vidIQ. Drop me a comment. I'm more than willing to make a follow-up video for you guys, letting you know the success, any pros and cons from switching from TubeBuddy to vidIQ. There's just not, not enough data for me yet to um, to give you that information, but like I said, I will. So if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up, and as always, guys, later.